Welcome to section 3.2. We're going to talk about speed and velocity now. Let's get started. All right, our objectives are describe one-dimensional motion using equations for speed and velocity, analyze one-dimensional motion using equations for speed and velocity, define and identify positive and negative velocities. All right, our assessments. Uh, swallow moves 80 meters in five seconds. What is its speed? What is its velocity? How can the two be different? Write an English sentence that means the same as this equation. So we have velocity equals displacement divided by time. Give an example of an object with positive position and negative velocity. Our only two terms in this are going to be speed and velocity. And we're going to talk a lot about both of these in this chapter. All right. V equals D over T. The speed is the distance traveled divided by the time taken. Not to be confused with what's on the bottom down here. They basically say the same thing, but the arrow in the triangles mean something different. The velocity is the change in position divided by the change in time. This makes this a vector, that arrow on top, and these triangles mean change, so the change in distance divided by the change in time. Are speed and velocity just two different words for the same thing? In everyday life, you probably use the words speed and velocity interchangeably. In physics class, speed and velocity are related to, but not exactly the same. They can be the same, but they aren't always the same, and we'll show you why. Click on the interactive calculator on page 80. Uh, where it says speed. Uh, the car travels 30 meters in a trip that lasts two seconds. What is the car's speed? So you have distance divided by time. You can put this in as 30 divided by 2. This tells you, once you hit run, it tells you that it's traveling at 15 meters per second. If you go a distance of 45 meters at a speed of 16 meters per second, how long does this trip last? So we had to rearrange this time to solve for time. So the distance would be divided by the velocity. So 45 divided by 16 gives me 2.8 seconds. A fox runs at a speed of 9.7 meters per second for 12 seconds. How far does the fox run? So if you put in here, what do you get? This time we had to rearrange for distance, multiplying t up. So you got 116 meters. See if you can come up with an example of when an actual object might move at each speed. So all these are different speeds. What might move at these speeds? About 0.22 miles per hour, the tip of the second hand of your clock will move at about this speed. This is 2.2 miles per hour. This is a slow walk. This is an excellent benchmark to remember. Remember that you walk at 2.2 miles per hour or 1 meter per second. This 10 meters per second is 22 miles per hour. This is a brisk bike riding speed. Here we go. 220 miles per hour is supercar's top driving speed. And the last one, 2,200 miles per hour, about the F-14 fighter jet's top speed. Okay, for speed, distance is always positive. Time is always positive, therefore speed is always a positive number. So how do we tell the difference between moving backwards and moving forwards? We need a new variable, which is velocity. So speed will always be a positive number, where velocity we can end up with negative numbers, showing that we're going backwards. So the velocity is defined as the change in position divided by the change in time. That's why the triangles here, those mean change. The, symbol tri the triangle symbol will translate to the change in. The x position, then the uh, delta x means the change in position. This is the same as saying xf minus xi. And this is the same as tf minus ti, which will be your final x minus your initial x, or final time minus initial time. Well, what does the delta t mean? If t equals time, that means the change in the time like I explained in the other slide. A, pos a change in position, delta x, can be positive or negative. That means that the velocity can be positive or negative. You can never have a negative time. Moving forward is a positive velocity, where moving backward is a negative velocity. OK, click the uh, investigation on page 80 also for velocity. 
now you have the velocity calculator. A car starts at 30 meters and it finishes at 10 meters in a trip that takes two seconds. Notice the change in position is negative 20 meters. What is the car's velocity? Well, for the first one, we have XF being 10 and 30. So you finished at 10, he started at 30 in a, t a final time of two seconds and zero seconds. The car travels at 15 meters per second. Four seconds after starting out is at a position of 40 meters. What is the car's change in position? Where did the car start? So here you're going to end up at 40. We're looking for where it started. Uh, it at the, ended at four seconds and started at zero. So if you solve for this, you're going to get a change in position of 60 because it would, the car started at minus 20. What is the change in position, your initial position, and your final position? If you start here and you end here, the variable x stands for the position. And subscript i means initial, and subscript f means final. So for here, our delta x is xf minus xi, or 8 minus 2, which gives us 6 meters. What is the velocity if the change in time is 2 seconds? Well, it says that x, we said xf is the final minus the initial, so 8 minus 2, and it happened in 2 seconds. So you, 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3 meters per second. What if the person starts at 8 meters and moves to the left? So they're starting now at 8, and they're finishing here. Well, in that case, your final is going to be 2 minus 8 divided by 2, so now you have minus 6. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. All right, vector is a vector. Uh, sorry, velocity is a vector. Velocity can be negative or positive. The sign of the velocity tells you the direction of motion. So we have our positive directions, and we have our negative directions. Uh, the velocity is a vector. A vector is a type of variable which includes direction and is very important because it has the velocity, the, the amount along with it. It has both magnitude and direction, where speed just has magnitude. Uh, positive and negative positions and velocities. Can there be a positive position and a negative velocity? I'll show you with a volunteer how this works. Positive position, it's moving this direction. Negative velocity would be moving that direction. So positive position, negative velocity. Can there be a negative position and positive velocity? Here's negative position, positive velocity. You see the difference? So you can move one way or the other and have positives and negatives. It's, it's possible. Can there be negative position and negative velocity? Negative position, negative velocity. It's moving in the negative position and moving in the negative velocity. They're both going the same direction. Can there be positive position and positive velocity? So now they're both heading in the positive, they're heading in the positive position and having positive velocity. So tell a story that illustrates how each picture relates to the meaning of each word. For example, a hiker needs to go southwest on a map and this vector represents the hiker's movement. I'm just wanting you to be able to verbalize. Here you have velocity heading in, or speed heading in the, in the positive direction. Here you have distance. Explain to me what distance is. Explain what this velocity is. And then explain what this is. And then the last one is that. These are just things I want you to be able to, to verbally communicate what's happening. So I'm going to give you an example for the speed one. Well, the speed of the ball is going to the right, so we have positive speed. Or it's not necessarily positive speed, it's just speed. Speed going to the right and distance between two points. All right, back to our assessments. The swallow moves five meters in five, 80 meters in five seconds. What is its speed? What is its velocity? How can the two be different? The speed is 16 meters per second because... We said, oops, 
V equals distance divided by time, which was going to be 80 divided by 5, which gave me the 16 meters per second. The velocity could be either positive 16 meters or negative 16 meters depending on the bird's direction. We didn't mention which direction it is, so it could be either of those. All right, the velocity is the change in position divided by the change in time. This is a great way to state this equation. Give an example of an object with positive position and negative velocity. Like the example I told you, we have positive position right here and negative velocity because it's heading the other way.